Hey everybody, <clears throat> excuse me, it's your, it's your girl Tennessee North. Yeah, I'm here with a video. And you're probably wondering where I've been. Right here. My uh, phone that I take from kept running out of storage. Lost two videos. Yeah. So, me and my sous chef, we're going to give you this little video here. We got a couple more. But I'm going to show you, we're just going to make kind of a dessert sort of. Um, some apple dumplings. Kind of, kind of makes you feel kind of a little melancholy. Reminds me when I was sous chef's age. Yeah. Uh, my mom, she used to make these things up and you get up in the morning or come in from out playing holler. Oh my God, mom. Mom that made some. Oh, yeah. And that's what this reminds me of. So, let me get to it. Hold on. Okay. Let me show you what we're going to use. We're going to use some Granny Smith apples. The tart apples are the best to use. And they hold up a little bit better. Yeah. Some brown sugar. Let me show you some brown sugar. Pie crust. We ain't got time to make none. This will do. Uh, you can't forget me. Some raisins. Raisins. Some regular sugar. And some lemon juice. Ooh, yeah. Lemon juice. So. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna pour some lemon juice. I want to do it. In our um, can water. Can I do it, Nana? Nana, can I do it? Just to keep our apples from turning. Okay. So I'm going to peel them. You can't peel. Now they have to peel. So I'm going to peel them, drop them in this water. I want to use this one. No, that's a core. Put it in. So. so you have to get the, the peelings off and get them in this water before they turn brown. Excellence kick in real fast and it'll be brown. Still edible, but not pleasing to that. So we're gonna, I, hope, I hope the whole thing doesn't turn in like that. No, yeah, that's what Nana will put in this lemon juice the water. So we're probably going to do about maybe about six, I guess. All right. You just hold it, you can't peel it, just hold it. The thing to, like, now, to I'm going to take that out. I'm take the core out as well. I have to get the piglins off of it. I thought you were going to do this first. I, I know. I'm going to do this first. Get them peeled first. You peel them the way you want to, and I'm going to peel them the way I want to. With an apple peeler or a peeler, you don't take as much as a flesh, y'all. With a knife, you take a lot of the flesh, y'all. No, don't do that. You'll cut yourself. It's wet. Yeah, it just rinsed it off. This is a real simple, simple recipe. Like so. There's three. 
And then I was going to be four. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take the little... I almost apple. forgot I had these apples. I'm throwing them up in the refrigerator. Somebody put them there. Normally, I don't put my apples in the refrigerator. It was probably um, Uncle Tommy. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to eat it. Caption piece. Mm hmm. So let me get two more of these peeled and I'll be back. Okay. Uh -huh. Now what I'm doing now is taking the core out. Can I do it? And I'm going to drop them back. No, you can't push down hard enough. I and can't. then I'm pushing them, putting them, uh -uh, putting them back over in this lemon water. Can I do one? I can push real hard. No, you can't get this out. Yes, I can. Like this. Can I try? Yeah. Can I try a minute? Can I try? Can I try? Twist. And pull back out. Oh, I'm going to eat this one. Yeah. There you go. Got yep, I got them all. So let me get my dough together and I'll be back. All right. So we're going to make a mixture that we're going to step inside our um, apples first. So we got some raisins here. And uh, please don't say, uh, Tennessee, you know, if that's, well, that might not be how you do yours. But I'm going to show you how I do mine. Ain't no wrong way. Mm -mm. Your dumpling is your dumpling. My dumpling is mine. So, we're going to put some raisins in a bowl here. Let two chef put some raisins in a bowl. And we're making about six, so. And we're going to attempt to make six dumplings. Put a few more in there. Now, if you don't want no raisins yours, please don't put nothing in yours. But you know what I always say? Look behind me. This Tennessee North House, we want some raisins in ours. Hmm, I just yeah. a whole bunch. Okay. So. I can go to the ladies. Okay, so now give Nana the box. For the raisins, I'm putting back in the box. Mm -mm. See all this help I got? Mm -hmm. 
So. And I'm apologize for her now. She may accidentally put her hand in her mouth or something like that. We're not nasty cooks here. We're the ones going to eat it. Don't worry about it. It'll be okay. She did wash them before. And since I rubbed my nose, I'm going to wash mine. Hold on. Okay. So, what we're going to do now is, like I said, we're going to make our mixture here. And we got raisins in the bowl. Right here. And we're going to shake some cinnamon on these good. raisins. It smells good. Okay. You may get off the bowl. Oh. And we're also going to shake some nutmeg. Nutmeg. Now, I know some people take our red hot and melt them. And we don't want no red hot in ours. Let's see. Yeah, Nana help you. Okay. We're gonna also put some brown sugar in it. I love brown sugar because it smells good. Can I smell it? But I don't know how to smell it. It smells like sugar. It smells like sugar. Okay. So we're gonna put some brown sugar in here. On top of these raisins. I think I got out of bed now. And we're going to take and mix this up together. Like so. So, let me try. We're going to get our pastry out or our pie dough. Sue Chef got to start too. You know what they say. Train them up and hopefully they'll take care of you when they get, you know, grown and I'm seeing now. Yeah. So, and she'll fix Nana some of this. Okay. So, we're going to take our pie dough. And we're going to cut out some squares. Can I do it? Hold on. Bring your cook cutting board here. My cutting board. This is actually yours. This is mine. Okay. But I should not use this in mine. I know how to cut. And so, hold on, hold on. These are some good size ones. So, we're going to cut out six good size squares. Hold on. Let Nana cut the first one. Because these are some nice size apples, so. I'm going to cut this in half with your hand. I'm going to get mine on it. No. No, 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 no. So. I'm no, it's not in there. Those are how the squares are supposed to be. Yeah. Give or take. Ouchie, Ouchie, Nana. Oh, I'm sorry. Nana, sorry. And scratch the grandbaby. Hmm. This won't cut butter. <laughs> but it will scratch. I got dough. So, I got yeah. some dough. So, no, no, I need that. Okay. So. About to mess up the video. Okay. So we got four squares there. We're gonna drain, we're gonna take each apple out one at a time, because we don't want them to turn brown. And we're gonna dry them off, hold them. Okay, so Sue Chef is drying the apple off some, because we don't want to put that wet apple on this dough. Okay, and put the apple down. 
Let's try putting it this way. Set better. Now we're going to take some of this mixture here with the raisins. You probably do better with your finger. Put it in it. Push it down in there. Fill that apple up. And get all these raisins and put them down in there. And then pack them in. Right here. I Just should take it. You eat a few while she's packing. Okay. Okay. Then we're going to drizzle a little butter over top of that. Lay your hands on me, I can see. Now, we're going to take our dough. I'll let you see it in a minute when I get it myself out of the way. And we're going to mash this dough all around it and close it up. We're going to pinch the dough so it will close around the... Make sure the butter's not out. Mm -mm. So we got to pinch it. Okay, make sure it don't come out. Hold on. And we got a baking pan that's all ready. Now to this baking pan, we're going to rub just a little of that butter on it. Yeah. Rub that around, sous chef. Rub it all over. And get this good help. All over the corners and stuff. All up there. Okay. Put your put your next, put your first one on there. Put your first apple on there. Sit about right there. Okay. Now we gotta pack another apple. Huh? Here, that's an apple. Dry this one off. Did I get the core out of this? One? Yeah. Hmm. Here's our next pie filling. Okay. I got this. She got this. We got our oven preheated to 400 degrees. We're going to leave it in about 40, 35, 40 minutes, somewhere like that, to the golden brown and the apple is soft. See this skill? Yeah. Pack it in real good. Press down. Sugar get sugar. It. Yeah, sugar and raisins. Make sure all the sugar and raisins get in there together. All right, she's got it pretty packed pretty good. A little more. I think that's good. Okay. She said that's good. There's a little butter over it. And we're going to wrap it up. I got it. Bring it all the way up. Close it up. You don't have that much. Yeah, you got to close the sides up. So we can't see the apple. Hold on. Gotta close the seams up. Wait a minute, don't pit, don't don't break the dumpling here. Cause that's our dumpling. You broke it. You can see everything. That's why we take the extra. And we try to fix it. Yeah. Okay. Don't eat up the filling until we get them all packed. 
Hold on. Got to make sure it's covered good. Okay, uh-uh. Okay. Next one. I'm going to do another I'll one. I'll do it. I'll do this one. Hold on. No, no, no. You're going to do one at a time. That way we don't... We don't get them turning brown on us. Next one. Uh uh, you gotta pack them. You gotta pack your stuff in. So, you get the idea. So, let Sue Chef get the rest of these packed and we'll be back. Okay. Sue Chef is on her last one. Uh-uh, you didn't pack it. You didn't pack it. Pack your stuff in it. Be careful, be careful. Go ahead and pack it. Hold on. Okay. She had her uncle walking through. You know, he don't like the camera. Okay. What are you going to do on there now? Pour the butter. Just a little. On top. Okay. Yeah. What do you do? I'm going to wrap it up now. Like this. Get your other side up. Get your other side up. Extra, please. Close that side up right there. Okay. This one looks good. Where's this one go? Right. Is it covered good? Let me get the bottom. Okay. Close that up around there. And next, we're going to put them um, in the oven. Then we're done putting this on. Where are you going to put it at? And let me show you apple dumplings. So I'm going to move it. Get some space. Oh, that's good. Okay, leave it there. Leave it down. Put it back in the middle. We don't want them to touch. Sue Chef apple dumplings. Let me get these in the oven. And we'll be back. Okay, we're going to make a little glaze for our apple dumplings. So, first we're going to do sugar. I'm going to do two cups of sugar. Be careful. Wait, 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 so we don't spill it. This is a half a cup. So go ahead. Put two cups of sugar in the saucepan. Fill the whole thing. Uh-uh. You gotta fill the whole thing. Yeah, it's still not quite full. Hold on, let Nana help. That's a half a cup. We're gonna put two cups. Be careful not to spill it. Close enough. That's one cup. Get another big scoop. Turn it here. There you go. That's a cup and a half. One more scoop. There you go. Put it in there. You got something else to put in there. Okay, two cups of sugar. 
Uh-uh, put that back in here. Now we're going to do a half a cup. No, we're going to do a whole cup of corn syrup. Let's see, where's our cup here? Here's a cup. Let Nana open. Okay. Take your time. Take your time. Don't spill it. Is good? Now fill it up. The whole thing? Hold. Look good? Yeah. Put that in there. Take your time. Don't spill it. Hold on. Let me get a spoon so we can get all of it out. Looks cool. I'm activating. Let Nana get Uh -uh, we don't need no more of that. Put top on that. Now, we're going to put... Some vanilla. No, we're going to need a little water. I'm going to get some. Hmm. Put a little water in that. Now, we're going to put about a half a cup of water. You can get it off the door. Refrigerate. Okay, you're going to get it there? Mm-hmm. Okay, get the, okay. So she put a half a cup of water in there. Now she's gonna add a little vanilla. We're just gonna eyeball it, just a little. That looks like enough for me. Looking like enough for you? Just a hair more? Okay. I'm going by what Sue Chef said. Okay. Now, we're going to add a little of cinnamon in here. Cup shakes. Okay. Looks good to me. Now, we're going to stir this. What this? A shake. Stir it up good. Hold on. Okay, no. Sous Chef has stirred it up real good. And we're going to take this. I'm going to put it on the eye and let it come to a boil. Hold on. Okay. My sauce has come to a boil. That's what you want, the sugar, and your corn syrup, and water, all that to dissolve. Okay, it's come to a, a boil, and we're going to turn this off, let it cool for just a minute, and we'll show you what else we're going to do to it. Ooh, I'm all up in your face. Hold on. Okay, before I finish this video... I want to tell you something. Sue Chef had made, helped make her pawpaw some dinner. And she made some biscuits. And we put it on another video. But the video cut out some kind of way. And that's on my other phone. So, I want y'all to see the biscuits that this five-year-old made. She used the um, um, complete mix. But she poured the milk in. She stirred them. She pat them out. And she cut them. Hold on. Now, she didn't she do an awesome job? Hold on, you got to put his biscuits on there. She was trying to make Papa his dinner. And she made the biscuits all by herself. Can I have yeah. one? So, come over here and get your plate. And she's make, putting his plate together. What's left to put on there? Put him, put him in about three biscuits on there. And get him a fork. And y'all come over here and show them your complete plate. So, huh, come around. So, she's going to show you what she, she's got done. Ain't that something? Yeah. So, I'm okay. I'm going to bring it to my papa. All right. 
Here's sous chef apple dumplings. Yeah. So, and here's our sauce. We let it come to a bowl. So now I'm gonna put in some uh, evaporated milk. Hold on. Okay, and to this, I'm gonna add about a cup of evaporated milk. I'm eyeballing it. It's still warm. You want to cool it down just a little bit, but not cold. But you still want it to be warm. And that's that. So hold on. Let me get one plated so you can see. Okay. Here's our apple dumpling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's see what we taste in like. Hold up. Move the camera around a little bit. You know what we have to do. Let's speak to the Lord about this. Amen. Amen. So, let's see what we got going here. It's still hot. Mm, look at the radiance coming out of it. Oh, you can't see it. Let's see. Chef, come taste. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Come back. Mm. She's got some Legos she's playing with. Chef did a good job. Mm -hmm. You can taste the cinnamon and the brown sugar she put in it. You like it? Yeah, Nana love it. I love it too. She says she loves it too. Mm. Her uncle bought her. A bunch of Legos. Yeah, and she's in the floor playing with them. Oh my goodness. Look at those raisins inside there. Oh my goodness. It could be served in a restaurant. I buy it. Mm hmm. I'm about to eat a whole one of these. You should totally make some more. She told me next time, tell her to make some more. She 
She's getting good. They are good. Mm hmm. That crust. Oh my goodness. Look at the glistening on that crust. Mm hmm. Sauce ain't bad either. Mm hmm. You like the sauce too, I made? Mm hmm. I'm gonna um, go and rate this. It's a fit tank. Mm hmm. I win it. Mm hmm. I win. It's a fit tank. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Mom. <coughs> now, I'm sorry, Dick. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. And I'm sorry that other camera came to an end because that little girl put those biscuits together herself. Yeah. Yes, did. She poured the milk, did the stirring, and everything. And the video started all over again. I wish I knew how to piece this video to that, but I don't know how. Mm hmm. She did an awesome job. When they're young like that, you need <clears throat> you need to give them their praises. Yeah, that builds their self esteem and help them to be um, great adults. Yeah, um, I know a for instance where someone. While they was young, was tore down. Never no compliments, never praise, just belittled and put down. Now they're struggling as an adult, just to cope in the world. Having a hard time giving self love. But you have to have some strong people around you. to um, try to build that back up. And you can't go back and erase what has been already done. But you can start right there. Right where that person is now. And open up a whole new world. Open up a whole new world for them. And let them know that um, you ain't got to be perfect. You're not going to do things perfect. People make mistakes. Yeah. Um... I have a saying. Um, hold on a second. Okay. And what my saying was, and I taught it to somebody, I'm not a failure. I'm great. I'm better than that. You know why? Because I said so. Yeah. You got to keep telling yourself. I'm not a failure. I'm better than that. I'm great. Because I say so. You can't let people tear you down. Because most people who do that, they done fail somewhere in themselves. And then they go and take that out on somebody who they know is a little bit weaker and don't know no better. Yeah. I'm not a failure. I'm better than that. I'm great. 
because Tennessee's North says so. If you like anything about my video, give me a thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe. Tell someone about Old Tennessee North and a little grand baby Sue shell. Yeah. Hit the notification button. So next time, you know we're there. Yeah. And once again, I want to apologize about the other videos. Ran out of storage. And now my sous chef video ran out of storage. Well, we can't dwell on that. Press on. We're not failures. We're better than that. We're great. Because we said so. I know.